Hi, welcome to Plaid Craft TV. I'm Steve Piacenza. And I'm Kathy Billion. Today we are making a Route 66 inspired chalkboard that spells out EAT. We're using chalkboard paints and full cart paints and some sanding techniques to make this unique design. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. Let's get So the way we created our chalkboard here is we went to the store and got ourselves a 16 by 16 ceramic tile. Very inexpensive, 88 cents. Under a buck. Couldn't beat it. Then we went on top of it with three coats of the chalkboard paint, just like here, and we added these chunky wood letters and painted them each different colors. Added thumbtacks to them just to give it a little bit of design, a hook on the back, ready to hang our menu on the wall and find out what's for dinner. <laughs> well, this is a great place to, you know, put up if you're having lasagna or pot roast That's or whatever it. you're having, you can mark it there, have it hanging in your kitchen. Fun design. It's so simple to make. Again, we're starting with the floor tile. This is a large one. I like that it's got these grooves in it because it gives it kind of a vintage look. And we're using the chalkboard paint. This is the slate gray. And it's gonna go on just like regular paint. The key thing is you want to go in one direction of paint for your first coat and a second direction for your second coat. So you can see I've got just applying it very simply up and down motions. This paint works on ceramic tiles like this, wood, paper, glass, almost any surface, cardboard. Yeah. We even used it on canvas. And the other great thing is if you don't like the gray, there's so many different oh. colors of chalkboard paint that you can use. Yeah, pinks, blues, anything. Beautiful. So I've got a little bit of my first coat down you would want to continue doing the whole entire tile and then you're going to do a second coat so I'm doing this coat in the opposite direction and that's just going to help fill in the chalkboard and you'll want to continue doing coats until you have full coverage just like you see on our finished sample here for our finished sample we did three coats now to get these great chunky letters in these colors here what we've done is, it's just a wood letter, and we base coated it with our Folk Art Medium Gray, very simple, and we're doing the T, so we're gonna be doing the medium blue. Got some right here, just gonna dip my brush in, and then bounce it off, just <laughs> like that. You want a dry brush to give it this old Route 66 aged look, like it's been out on that highway for a long, yeah, long time. Yeah, weathered, the rain's hit it, the sun's hit it. So, so I barely have any paint on this right now, and you're just going to dry brush it, just like that. I like to get some of these edges, a little bit of highs and lows. Move your brush around in all different directions here. Get a little bit more paint. Hitting it on all sides. Get this top part. We also have a couple other letters with the uh, E there. We use, that's a deep, tomato red, which is really pretty, and the A, we have moon yellow. Yeah, which over the gray ends up looking kind of green. Yeah, I love these three colors together. Yeah, they're, they're very, beautiful. they're classic kind of Route 66 colors. Yeah. So let's get in there. You want to hit all these little nooks and crannies. And again, it's just a simple dry brush. And let's go over the top just a little bit more. And there we go. And this is barely wet because it's a dry brush. Because the next step, you want to sandpaper it. And you can do it immediately after you paint. And we're just going to go right over these edges here, these sharp edges. And this is really going to age it down quite a bit. It's such a simple aging technique. Yeah. One thing I really like about it is it actually adds dimension, so the letters even become more three-dimensional. They pop because it actually frames out the letters. Look at that. Good. Let's get some of this bottom area here. And there we have it. I think it looks fantastic. The next thing that we're going to do is add some embellishments to our tea. And what we're using is just some very inexpensive thumbtacks and little tiny nails. Now these nails are normally like carpet nails. What you want to do is just push your thumbtack into the wood get it started. And I'm just using my scrapbook hammer. Get it started. This just 
just adds a little metallic. The idea was sort of like old signs and they'd be hammered together. So you can see that adds a lot of pop to our letters. The last step, the easiest step, oh. hot glue it to the tile. So we've got our gun all heated up. Add some glue. other letters that we've pre-done. Let that set for a second. You can see it's really as easy as that to take a floor tile and turn it into a chalkboard. And one quick note, when you are completely finished, you want to condition your chalkboard and that's just taking a piece of chalk, rubbing it over the entire chalkboard, then taking a paper towel, wiping that down, and you are ready to write Time for <laughs> dinner. Can anybody <laughs> possibly read that? <laughs> Not very good penmanship. <laughs> Anyways, have fun making this project. We loved it. And uh, go to plaidonline.com to get the full instructions. And be sure to check out our bonus idea where we use the same chalkboard paint to create clay pots for planting your herbs. Yay, let's go hang this up. What do you want to do? It? Thanks for joining us. Bye. <laughs>